My name is Milena and I work at Amnesty International and I run a project called Amnesty Decoders. Um, Amnesty Decoders aims to create a global network of digital volunteers for Amnesty International to help us with research. So we, we face a problem, like all the world faces this problem of overwhelming of data. So our researchers documenting human rights violations are, are overwhelmed by information. There's streams of video on, on YouTube, there's a lot of social media reports, imi images, potentially helping us document these violations around the world uh, but we don't really know what's relevant we don't really know what can really help us with our research um, so facing it, this overwhelming amount of information we are asking digital volunteers from around the world to really help us sift through relevant information from this uh, mountains of of data. So yeah, we just launched the first the first project, um, Amnesty Decoders, and we really think that people will will be able to help us. You know, analyze satellite imagery, sort out messy documents, um, analyze social media reports, validate videos, and so on. So this is incredibly valuable for for our research. Um, it it simply we couldn't do it without it. Um, so we think this this shared uh, shared knowledge that people can bring. We call it the the wisdom of the crowds, you know, like they can they can really help us with this massive research task. Obviously, challenges are are numerous. It's, it's really hard to to get people to dedicate uh, that much time. You have to be very inspiring. We hope to be an inspiring organization fighting against human rights violations around the world. Uh, but building up that community can can take a lot of time. You need you need to be very dedicated to it. You need to constantly uh, give feedback back to your supporters, uh, making sure that they understand where they come in and making sure they indeed bring value to, to your mission and your goals. Uh, but this is really exciting for us um, and, and obviously the, the Wikipedia model is also very inspiring for this purpose.